For the first time this season, a Montana child has died as a result of the flu. And not only is this the first child-related flu death anywhere in the state, it's also the first flu death reported in Yellowstone County this year. We'll get to that story in a moment, but first, breaking news to tell you about tonight. He kidnapped and killed a Sydney school teacher in 2012. Now Michael Spell is accused of trying to kill a fellow inmate at the Montana State Prison. Spell is serving a 100-year prison sentence for the murder of Sydney teacher Sherry Arnold, who was kidnapped during a morning jog. This new offense stands from a brutal assault at the state prison at Deer Lodge nearly two years ago in April of 2016. Court documents that were filed just last week in Powell County allege that Spell gave a lock to inmate Thomas Lanham to assist in killing inmate James Marshall. Spell allegedly held Marshall while Lanham beat him with the lock until they believed the victim was dead. If you recall, Spell had claimed he was mentally disabled and did not know his actions were wrong when he killed Arnold back in 2012. Lanham is serving time for rape and burglary out of Flathead County. Back to the flu death here in Yellowstone County, a pediatric flu death. The victim, 10-year-old Chloe Lye. Chloe was a fourth grade student at St. Fran uh, Francis Catholic School here in Billings. Officials there at the school tell us that Chloe started to have symptoms on Sunday, and as they grew worse, her parents then rushed her to the hospital. She passed away Tuesday afternoon. Q2 Samantha Harrelson spoke with the principal at St. Francis this afternoon and is here tonight with us with more on the story. Sammy, very tough situation. How are they doing at St. Francis? Well, Jay, Principal Deb Hayes says it's been a difficult day for everyone there at the school. They made the decision to inform all students last night of Chloe's death before they went home. Both a crisis team from the Billings Public Schools and priests were on hand at St. Francis today to help both the struggling students and staff. In a community like this, we all gather together, and we've had an outpouring of people from the Billings community and our Catholic families saying, you know, asking what they can do to help us out. And um, we want to reassure them that we're taking all the measures we can to make sure that everybody's going to be safe. Hayes told me today Chloe was spunky and friendly, but most of all, she was kind. In speaking with her parents today, Hayes says their main concern was how her friends and classmates were doing and making sure no other family has to go through something like this. Jay. All right, thank you, Sammy. Chloe's death is the first death here in Yellowstone County this flu season. So far this season, 32 people have died in Montana of influenza. 27 of those deaths occurred in adults older than 65. Four of the deaths involved people younger than 65. To date, the state of Montana has reported 6,500 flu cases, 649 here in Yellowstone County. On a national scale, there have been at least 97 pediatric flu deaths this season. Riverstone Health recommends that it's not too late to get a flu shot. Some people that have been immunized have gotten influenza, but what happens is a lot of times they'll have a much less severe case. It's often confused with gastrointestinal illness, which it is not. Influenza is a respiratory, upper respiratory illness. You get headache, body aches, fever, having the whole body just hurting. And Kim Bailey also recommends covering coughs, staying home if sick, and washing hands frequently.